Many religious apologists refer to the Kalam cosmological argument as proof for the existence of a creator God. The argument, as restated by Christian apologist and philosopher William Lane Craig, is as follows. Whatever begins to exist has a cause. The universe began to exist. Therefore, the universe has a cause. This is then used to extrapolate the existence of an uncaused, transcendent, immaterial, timeless, personal creator God. It's a modern version of the flat earth theory. Centuries ago, logic in conjunction with religious dogma was considered sufficient to prove the earth was flat. From our limited vantage on the surface of the earth, it appears flat and the Bible indicates that it's flat, therefore, it must be flat, right? Physics indicated otherwise, despite the logic and dogma in favor of the flat earth argument. Of course, once we developed the capability to escape the grip of the earth's gravity, it became clear that physics was right, and the logical and theological arguments were wrong. Logic alone, or employed in concert with dogma, is not sufficient proof when it is not corroborated by real evidence. As for the origin of the universe, how would we go about attaining evidence for an event that happened before or outside of our universe? Well, I suppose we would need to travel outside of or to a time prior to its origin. This is more than a little problematic, so we are back to logic, dogma, and physics as our tools. Dogma is subjective, intractable, and varies from one culture or religion to another. Refutation of any dogma will generally evoke the response, we believe it because our holy book says so, and no amount of evidence to the contrary will change that. So I'll leave dogma out of this analysis. On the logic of the argument, we are presented with a bizarre and selective use of science to support the creator premise. It's acknowledged by both sides of the debate that prior to the existence of the universe, there was no matter, energy, time, or space. Yet the proponents of the God argument use the principle of causality that we observe within the universe to assert what must have been before it even existed. Without matter, energy, time, and space, how can one simply assert that causality existed? Perhaps it did, but to simply assume it did is a logical flaw. Causality, in the absence of time, seems meaningless. Causality is dependent on linear time. Cause must come before effect. But in the absence of time, there is no before. It's a bit like asserting that global warming can't possibly be happening because it's winter where I live, but that's a different argument altogether. I contend that the Kalam cosmological argument is self-refuting as soon as one inserts universe into point two as the whatever in point one. It's one of those common sense arguments that holds true in most of our everyday life, but cannot be used as a logical proof. The argument unravels when anything outside of linear time is plugged into it. So if we dismiss the argument for lack of causality, what other explanation can there be for the origin of the universe? Stephen Hawking proposed that gravity in physics is enough for a universe to spontaneously spring into existence without the need for a causal agent. Theoretical physics supports the idea of a multiverse where countless universes are popping into existence all the time. Or, if there is causality in the absence of universal time, maybe a collision of cosmic membranes causes big bangs to occur. Who knows? The point is that while we may never know the answer, lacking understanding doesn't give license to invoke mythology. But if all of this makes your squishy little brain throb and you have to call upon superstition to escape the discomfort of complicated ideas, Error, 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 error.